Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> I can't see you, you're all in black. <laughs> so hold that for a sec. I'm gonna... So, um, it's nice and warm. It's Saturday morning, we're about to start our like Saturday, you know, like around the homestead like chores day. Mrs. RP is rugged up. Oh, she got mittens, a beanie, a hoodie, like, and oh. you know, I'm just. It's cold though. Tell them how cold it, it is. It is cold. It's under. It's minus two. Minus two, according to the temperature. So it is a bit chilly. Gonna go let the chickens out. You warm it up. Don't make my coffee too cold. Uh, Dozer's a bit cold. He's a bit. He's. He's actually shivering. He's shivering. He's cooler. shivering. But he still wants to be out here to like. Yeah. To, to play. To play with his toy. So. Um, things like these, I wish I drank coffee. Try it. Oh, no, I, can't. I don't. I don't like. I Just don't like this. Give it a go on camera. No. There's 1,400 okay. people that want to see you try it. <laughs> no, no, no pressure. No. no. See that? Don't, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell her what to do. <laughs> so. A good thing about having a SIPS panel house with double glazed windows is uh, we, we don't have a heater. We have, an, we have like a split system aircon, but we don't have it on as a heater. So, but we don't have any other heating source in there yet. No. We are planning on getting a wood fire one day, but not yet. Anyway, one, one day. So uh, this morning's temp in the house is 15 Celsius. That's what the gauge says inside. So we hit minus... The minus temps at about 1.30 a.m. this morning, like outside, yep. and it's currently now like minus two. Yeah. And I'm still trying to work out what it what it, the temperature. And it said it, it says it feels like minus six. Yeah. So what does that mean? Like I don't know. like it is minus two, but it feels like minus Maybe six. It's like a bit of a breeze. Can someone explain that? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so that 15 degrees inside is exclusively from yesterday. Uh, yeah, the solar get like it's a solar passive design, so the warmth from yesterday yeah. will retain the warmth overnight and this morning. Yeah. When it's minus two outside, minus two even lower. Uh, it was 15. It was a balmy 15 degrees <laughs> inside. I mean, it's, it, quite nice. it's still quite comfortable inside. It's like, I mean, hence I'm just sh <laughs> shirts and short, <laughs> like and thongs. Oh. Um, I do have a beanie on because my little head gets oh cold because of the lack of yeah, hair. I'm throw that for Dozer because he's. All right, I'm gonna go let the chickens out. He's Let's go for a bit of a walk. <laughs> it's getting warmed up. Good boy. Good boy. I'm coming. You can see just the beautiful sun. Oh, there's. Oh, there, it's Mrs. RP again. <laughs> Rising. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's a bit bright. Those is happy. He's getting his morning little jaunt. All right, let's go let the chickens out. So lesson learnt: um, put your coffee on top of the fence post when letting the chickens out, because if you put your coffee over here, you won't have a coffee, because the chickens. You don't care about your coffee. Oh, I can hear you. A little bit, a little bit awkward one hand. Okay, so they start with two scoops of the goodness. That goes over there. Hey. Oh, cameraman, come on. Good morning, guys and girls. So the twins, they're like little phantom long-legged <laughs> twins. They tend to stay in there. And Betty, Black Betty, is molting at the moment. So she's still in there. But these guys are happy to be out having some brekkie. Hey, aren't ya? You all right? It's okay, it's all right. They're, ki they're kind of getting used to us. By letting him, letting us touch him without getting too freaked out. 
That's it. All right, back to the coffee. What's my plan today? I am going to over yonder. We've got a big pile of like old like branches and timber that we cleared. So it's been there for two and a half years. So it's kind of starting to like rot away. So I'm going to bring a, some of it down here and we're going to chuck in our veggie bed. So we're doing like a, oh, a bit of a mixture, you know. We're going to go like some cardboard on the bottom, some branches that are kind of like um, like, like Huger culture method and then we've got some mushroom compost we're going to chuck on top of that and we're going to put a bit of stubble in there and then we got some dirt yesterday so we're going to oh we should probably get some sheep poo oh my little mate down here look at him are you right dozer dozer hey he's very focused on his toy <laughs> um and I'm going to do a little bit of retick, like get some piping in the beds before we fill it, just so that's prepared uh, to go as part of the retick system. I'll catch up with you guys a bit later on in the morning and we'll see where we get up to. All right, welcome to the veggie patch. So, all I'm doing is pre installing a pipe the underground. So we just have a bit of pipe coming up into each bed um, and then as we go uh, we can tap into these and run off to, uh, different types of retic valves or solenoids or whatever we want to do. We just got to glue this in. I just put some tape over that because this will be buried in the ground. I know where it is because I have a measurement and we'll just cover it up and then when I want to get to it I can plumb in and join on. Let's take this all apart again because these were just a few little off cut bits of pipe I had laying around which you know you know me you never throw stuff out. Okay so that one will just kind of go up in there and I can cut these off to whatever height I want later. So that's good. Oh yeah, that one goes up there, like that. And then we just need a piece of pipe in the middle there. Easy peasy. What have we got? We've got green glue. So I think green glue is for, oh Jesus, thick, for pressure. I know that because it says on the front, for pressure. That is real thick. Now we just do a good, good schmear on there and that'll start actually activating the the PVC to like start you know melting because it's just like a solvent bit in there put it in I like to give it a bit of a twist as I'm pushing it in that gives you a nice good seal and then we just hold it and it only takes as long as this conversation to to bond and then we're good. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what I need? I need bloody coffee. Uh, where am I? We're gluing stuff still, aren't we? That's right. Now I'm just giving that a wiggle and I'm ironing it through to make sure that our cross section is nice and square to our vertical. Okay, lovely. That's that one. All right, so I just dug it up, up in behind that sleeper because when I come in here with the whipper snipper or the little self-driven lawnmower thing, I don't want to risk damaging that pipe if it came up on this side of the sleeper so we can take it down in there like that and then I can plumb into it from here for the water supply good thinking Corey then we get that bit without knocking over the camera
There we go. Right, and I'll just cap them off like that. Okay, so that's done. Next job is to unload the dirt off the back of the little truck up there. So, let's go. Come on, grab your stuff, let's go. Okay, so now we have a little pile of dirt. That's good. Next job. Oh, what do you need? Okay, so I've got to do two scoops with the bobcat. I need to do a scoop of wood, like the, on the little wood pile down there to put near our beds for like our hygge culture thing. And I need to do a scoop of the stubble to put down there also so that's next on the cards so i don't think that is that won't take very long but just got a message from mrs rp and she's on her way home from shopping so i might just nip into the house make a coffee and just clear a bit of room on the kitchen bench and help her unload the shopping when she gets back. Don't know if you've seen this, or you probably have in a past video, but I can't remember. Um, our little light mower mulcher trailer that I just made from some scrap we had from a long time ago. So it just hooks onto the mower and I just tow it around um, just to mulch stuff. Works well. It's a bit easy, you know. The only thing I don't like about the mulcher, I mean, it was only a hundred bucks, so you, you can't complain, is it shoots the chips out from the bottom. Now, it's a little bit awkward because it just makes a pile on the ground. Can't fit a wheelbarrow under it. So, but it's good if you want to like back it up to like a, a veggie bed or an area or something and chip away and chip into that area works a treat so but i think we're going to save up and we're going to get a like a decent a proper wood chipper something where you can put a big log in and you hear the engine at like you just hear the grunt of it tearing it apart turning it into chips spraying it you know 40 feet out the chute that's what we want all right bye Hey Chili, mm. you alright? That sun's nice. The sun is lovely, isn't it? Oh, no, no cold morning. Not as cold yesterday though. Like oh, yesterday morning. was cold, but I think this morning just had a different sort of feel to it. <sighs> you know? Alright, so, oh. but I'm out here. Good. And we're doing. Let's put you to work. We're doing some. We're, we're doing some veggie bed we're stuff. We're doing some veggie we're beds. We're filling the veggie beds. Finally. Finally. All right, so our plan is start with cardboard. We've got cardboard right here behind me. Cardboard. Voila. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. <laughs> I've seen cardboard, cardboard. before. <laughs> <coughs> um, then we got uh, off-cut bits of timber, like trees, pruning, stumps, Yeah, okay, branches. so that's because we're going to do kind of like a hugel culture method. Now it's not- Hugel lasagna method. Hugel lasagna method. So yeah, it's not- That could not, be a new thing. It's not like probably the precise way you're supposed to do it, but I'm just gonna show you how we're doing but it. But we are tradies, we're not gardeners. Oh. So, you know, but cardboard, off cut timber branches, stubble. <coughs> Behind the camera is our little trolley that we've been cleaning out the chicken coop with. So we've got some, oh, it's probably up to two months old like chicken and straw, straw and stuff all that good stuff 
Um, uh, we got the the mushroom, oh, the mushroom compost mulch compost discard stuff. stuff as well. So yeah, the stubble, canola stubble. Oh, and we've got what else we got? Uh, we've got the soil. Oh, the soil, yes. So we went and got a a load of soil from a place locally nearby yep um about 45 minutes from here yep got that on our little driving date anyway, should we talk about the well maybe the soil thing should be a different video okay well, well because there I'll was tell just, you more about because it. the guy jason the, there was just so much information that he like he just like what do you call it like bomb dropped info info dump info dumped like so much information yeah, about, he's got decades and decades of experience. About, yeah, his with experience with composting, composting and stuff. All so over the he world. Does it on a, like, all different scale. shires. It's just like. So yeah. there's, they've got lots of different types of soil, like compost, soils, yeah. that sort of stuff. We've yep. got one that he asked us to try out and yep. test for him. To sample. So he hasn't sold that, it that's gonna go, publicly yet. So. Yeah, it doesn't even have like an official name, name. in the catalogue. Yep. Um, but that's going to be what we top our beds with. Yep. And we'll probably, yeah, do another video where we go into more detail about that and yep. do some light testing. Yep. And But to start with, we need to fill up these raised beds with organic material. Yes. So let's stop waffling. Let's, let's get started. Keep cranking. All right. This is where we're at. We've got these filled up with all the stuff you saw us putting in there. It's cheap poo and some the final lot of soil. So I just want to say I'm gonna do a dump on camera. It's gonna be the biggest poo dump ever. There's a lot of berries there. Come on. Get at all. So I filled these uh, with some sheep poo 
and now we have some chickens in there and you know it's like a happy little community and I filled this other bed here um, the same way that we filled the previous beds with like some cardboard some timber branches some logs some mushroom like um, I, I want to call it compost but it's not really mushroom compost I don't even know what it's called it's just the stuff they grow mushrooms in so and then some poo and then now I'm gonna go get some good dirt and dump in here and top these beds up all right you'll see me in a minute So we're getting there, eh? Nice stuff this is, look at that. Oh, looks wonderful. So we know that these beds are gonna like shrink down a fair bit because of what we, how we've done the layers. There's like still a bit of air and room in there, but as it sort of breaks down and we keep watering it and this will just sort of sink into the bed and then we can just top it up with some soil. So probably need a little bit more in this one i'll spread this out and we'll see what we need and then another scoop in there and then a good scoop in that one and we're probably looking pretty good i think mrs rp will be impressed i can actually see her she's just up there what are you doing mrs rp she's roasting some beef bones in the barbie and uh I'm going to put them in the slow cooker overnight and probably all day tomorrow so probably like 36 hours worth in the slow cooker uh, to make some bone broth <sighs> yummo and then she picked up a heap of plums as well like kilos and kilos of plums so she's on a plum sauce making mission this afternoon that'll be interesting <sighs> never a dull moment around here all right i'm going to spread that bit out and i'm gonna go get some more two more scoops one two and we'll go from there let's go okay so i've just filled these up as you can see I haven't quite finished that one yet could do that one by hand because i can't get the you know the scooper in there so i found a problem i have all these helpers down here that are just hanging to get in these beds so you know what they say you can't have anything nice with animals well yeah you know i reckon i'm gonna have to put something over these like just a bit of wire or something because they're gonna scratch all that stuff out that i've put in there and i won't be happy with that so I might just go get some mesh, there's a few bits laying around I think, bits and pieces, a few panel fence panels maybe, and we'll go from there, and we'll give these a good wet down over the next day or two, and uh, I'll just show you what we're dealing with, I like it, I think that's going to be pretty good, that's going to be alright. So. That one's one and a half filled up. I'll do that last bit with the few big buckets. That one's all filled up, looking good. And my little helpers are quite excited. <laughs> Bloody chickens. All right, I've got to go find some mesh and put over this because that could end, end messy. <laughs> See you on the next one, guys. Thank you.